Iceland, a place of extremes where the sky is painted with colours of the northern lights and the earth is covered with glaciers and volcanoes. A small island nation located in the North Atlantic Ocean, settled by Vikings somewhere between 830 and 970 CE. This natural wonderland is home to some of the most unique hikes in the world. The Lorga Vega Trail, a 55 km hiking route, winds its way through some of the most spectacular landscapes in Iceland. This trail is a paradise for hikers, nature lovers and adventure seekers alike. The Lorga Vega Trail takes you on a journey through stunning landscapes from snow-capped mountains and glaciers to hot springs and colourful rhyolite hills. The trail is surrounded by a rugged wilderness and, at times, it feels like you're walking on another planet. This trail is not for those of the faint of heart. It can be challenging with steep inclines, river crossings and unpredictable weather conditions. But for those who are up for the challenge, the rewards are extraordinary. Hey and welcome back to the channel. My name is Jack and I'm an Aussie physiotherapist and a part-time hiker based here in London. In this video, I'm gonna go into the nitty gritty details about the Lorga Vega Trail, a very special hike in Iceland that I was fortunate enough to hike back in the summer of 2021. The aim of this video is to give you enough information so that you feel confident hiking the trail on your own and also to just show you how amazing this trail actually is. Just before we get stuck into it, I thought I would let you know that I've recently started a membership option on my channel. If you go with a premium membership, you'll get access to my videos three days before everyone else. You'll also get a members only video once a month, which will go into my creative processes in terms of making my videos, my trip planning, and also behind the scenes footage and vlogs. You'll also get on-screen credit in every single video I make. Regardless if you join or not, I'm very appreciative of all the support thus far, and hopefully I can continue to grow my channel both organically and with this new membership option. Right, so let's get into it. So section one is choosing the right time to go. So the trail is only open from late June to early September, and the peak season is in July and August. You should plan your hike accordingly to your fitness level, experience with hiking and the weather conditions. Temperatures on the Lorga Vega Trail in Iceland can vary greatly depending on the season and weather conditions. In general, temperatures on the trail range from around 0 degrees Celsius to 15 degrees Celsius during the hiking season. However, temperatures can drop below freezing at night, especially at higher elevations, and can be much colder if there's a cold snap or a storm. It's important to be prepared for cold weather, even if you're hiking in the summer months. Bring warm clothing, such as a hat, gloves and layers, as well as a good quality waterproof and windproof jacket. I don't typically like using trousers, but I'll have them with me just in case I need them. You should also bring a warm sleeping bag that's rated for the expected temperatures, as nights can get very cold. I use my Garmin InReach Mini when I don't have any reception to check the weather forecast daily, so that I'm prepared for any changes in the weather conditions. I think this is especially important for places like Iceland. I didn't have any issues on this hike, but when I hiked Hornstrandir, I ran into some pretty terrible weather, which really made me question what I was actually doing. So the next section is getting to the trail. So the Lorga Vega trail has two main trailheads. Landmanna Lorga. This is the most popular trailhead and it's located in the highlands of Iceland. To get there, you need to take a bus from Reykjavik to Landmanna Lorga, which takes around four hours. You can book bus tickets in advance from various bus companies in Reykjavik. Once you arrive in Landmanna Lorga, you can start the trail from there. The other end of the trail is the Thorsmork trailhead. This trailhead is located in the Thorsmork Nature Reserve, which is about 150 kilometers southeast of Reykjavik. To get there, you can either take a bus from Reykjavik to Thorsmork, which takes around four hours, or drive yourself if you have a 4x4 vehicle. The road to Thorsmork is a rough gravel road, so it's important to have a sturdy vehicle. It's important to note that both roads to the trailheads are closed during the winter months due to snow and ice, and they typically open in late June or early July. It's also important to check the weather and road conditions before starting the hike as they can change quickly depending on the weather situation. Camping and accommodation. 
You can either camp along the trail or stay in huts. If you choose to camp, make sure you bring a good quality tent and sleeping bag. If you choose to stay in the huts, make sure you book them well in advance as they fill up quite quickly. Here are the designated camping spots along the trail in order from north to south. Land Manalorga, the starting point of the trail, has a popular camping area with basic facilities such as toilets and cooking areas as well. This is a remote camping spot on a volcanic plateau with no facilities available. Altavatn? This is a beautiful camping area situated next to a stunning lake with basic facilities such as toilets and cooking areas. Emstra? This camping spot is located in a valley and has basic facilities such as toilets and cooking areas. Thorsmork. This is the final camping spot on the trail, situated in a lush valley and offering basic facilities such as toilets and cooking areas. It's important to note that camping is only permitted in the designated camping areas along the trail, and hikers are expected to leave no trace and respect the fragile environment. Cost of the hike. The cost of hiking the Lorga Vega Trail is dependent on several factors, including your choice of accommodation, length of time on the trail, transportation, and food. Here's a rough estimate of how much you can expect to spend in US dollars. Accommodation. If you choose to stay in the huts, you can expect to pay around $50 to $70 per night. If you decide to camp, you'll need to bring your own tent and sleeping equipment, and you can expect to pay around $15 to $20 per night. Transportation. The cost of transportation depends on whether you choose to take a bus or drive yourself. A round trip bus ticket from Reykjavik to Land Manalorga or Thorsmork can cost around $100 to $150, while renting a 4x4 vehicle can cost around $150 to $200 per day. Food You'll need to bring your own food as there's no restaurants on the trail, though there are small shops that you can buy snacks and light meals from. Given the high costs in Iceland, you can probably expect to pay around $50 to $70 per day for food, depending how much you eat as well and what you bring with you. Overall, you can expect to pay somewhere between $400 to $800 for a 3-7 to seven day hike on the Lorga Vega Trail, depending on your choices and preferences. Keep in mind this is a rough estimate and the price will change depending on various factors. Highlights of the trail The Lorga Vega Trail is known for its stunning scenery and varied landscapes, with many highlights along the way. Here are some of the main highlights of the trail. Lam Manalorga this area is at the start of the trail and is known for its colourful rhyolite mountains and geothermal hot springs. It's a popular spot for hikers to stop and rest or take a dip in the hot springs. This is one of the highest points on the trail and offers panoramic views of the surrounding mountains and glaciers. It's also known for its rugged terrain and challenging hiking conditions. Ulftavatn This area is located near a beautiful lake and is a popular spot for camping. It's a great place to relax and enjoy the scenery with stunning views of the mountains and glaciers. Amstra. This area is known for its unique rock formations and stunning views of the river canyon. It's a great place to take a break and explore the surrounding landscape. Thorsmork. This is the end of the trail and is located in a beautiful valley surrounded by glaciers and mountains. It's a popular spot for hiking, camping and exploring the nearby glaciers. Extra day to Skoga. You can add an extra day's worth of hiking on this trail towards Skoga, a 25 km route that takes you through a volcanic landscape with stunning views of glaciers, waterfalls and valleys. This trail ends at Skoga, where you can visit the famous Skoga Foss waterfall and the Skoga Folk Museum. I was unable to complete this section due to poor weather. It's important to leave the trail as you found it and not leave any litter behind. Make sure you pack out whatever you pack in, and make sure you stay on the trail to avoid damaging the fragile ecosystem. Be prepared for emergencies. The Lorga Vega Trail can be challenging, so make sure you have a first aid kit and know how to use it. It's also a good idea to take a charged cell phone, a whistle and a flashlight in case of an emergency. So, in summary, the Lorga Vega Trail is an incredibly diverse, well waymarked and heavily trafficked through hike in Iceland. It covers a range of different landscapes, which feels like another planet at times. And camping along the trail allows you to fully immerse yourself in Iceland's rugged beauty. While the trail can be challenging at times, and Iceland proving to be quite costly, the rewards are extraordinary. Hiking the Lorga Vega Trail is a bucket list experience that will leave you with memories to last a lifetime. Let me know in the comments below if you've got any questions about the trail and I'll answer them as soon as I can. Thanks for watching if you've made it this far and I'll see you in the next one.